All right, so this ma next max review uh, comes to us from BB, uh, who has 1.4k hours in the game of Dead by Daylight, so a little bit past that zone where you should know most of your Dead by Daylight fundamentals, playing the all the singularities, all the singularities, uh, singularity, which is a character I have come into a lot of fondness for. I used to play them casually, but now I enjoy them a lot more since their quality life update. I kind of preserved a lot of the, the skill expressive things that made Larry really cool to play, uh, but in addition, um, kind of softened out some of the rougher edges that are just kind of like Kind of more on the objective side of just kind of being unfun and I want to say the word annoying that feels a little harsh, but it's kind of annoying to deal with some of the things on Larry. But a lot of the quality life changes that came through with the character uh, mitigated those. So now they're great. And I'm thinking about making them my secondary or tertiary, uh, which is really cool because I, 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 I love the more. It will always be Xeno, you know, but like having another character that I feel like happy and passionate about now feels good. It feels good. feels great. Uh, you're on Shelter Woods, which is not a great map. Um, because Shelter Woods is actually tied for uh, biggest map in the game right now with its own variation, Shelter Woods 2, and Azrael's resting place. So, fairly big map. Also, the main building can spawn in some very nasty variations that become, like, basically infinites when the, the tent is facing the outside. <laughs> Better, should have had him bamboozle, idiot. <laughs> like, one of those situations. Uh, so, that's not great. Um, but, um, Azrael's is big. Yeah, a lot of people get surprised by that. 176 square tiles, Azrael's. Azrael's is huge. Well, Azrael's is even bigger now because, uh, no, <laughs> you, you got the, uh, the little broken spot that spawns a lot. Uh, but you know, yeah, see, Boop. 176 square tiles. Look at that big boy. 176 square tiles. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? You don't think about it while you're there because it's mostly like length and not like, you know, width. But yeah, it's huge. It's huge. <laughs> Yeah, you like you think of the choke points. So you're like, okay, well, it's small because because it's uh, you know, because it's so thin in one area. But these other areas on each side are large comparatively. Isn't that crazy? Let's take a look at the islands of your pikes. Okay, so you're using the fibers, which I like fibers. I often forget to use it <laughs> uh, because, you know, you can destroy pallets with it and you can swing through pallets and not deal with the hindrance as much. But uh, it is a good add-on, like objectively. I just kind of, I, I, I kind of just mess up using it a lot. <laughs> um, you're also using the um, the oxygen, I think that's called. That's the exhaustion one. The exha exhaustion add-ons are just kind of like mostly okay in general uh, because like, you know, exhaustion is so strong in Dead by Daylight, but it kind of depends on like the way you proc the exhaustion. Like with Xenomorphs Molten Skin, it's actually one of their worst add-ons because of the way the anti-exhaustion procs, but the oxygen shank is actually pretty good. So that is uh, a fair choice. There are obviously other options, uh, denied requisition for them. Some of Family Photo is still good, but most singularities are tired of running that and don't have to anymore, so they're branching out. Uh, my favorite other add-on is the baseball glove, um, which um, allows you to uh, stay in your overclock mode longer. There's also the extra biopod one, the uh, or no, not the extra biopod one, the um, the repair one, the extra range is what I meant to say. Um, the d diagnostic tool, something like that, right? That is that one. That one's also really good. Um, Cause the extra range is neat. Cause there's a lot of times with Larry, you'll pop up with your little ball man and go to biopod them and they'll just be like too far away, <laughs> which is like really, really frustrating. Um, so that situation happens way less when you have that on. Uh, you're using a build that honestly I like to run uh, besides corrupt. Um, uh, save rapid is really, really fun. And Larry Larry's a character that doesn't really need blood, uh, blood lust. So losing blood lust is not that big of a deal. Um, so uh, save, great, because uh, M1 killer. Uh, Surge, you're an M1 killer once again. Corrupt, uh, I guess the, the corrupt makes sense because you have to, you can buy time to set up your biopods, um, but you can always put other, something else here like painters or pop if that's not doing enough for you. So yeah, it's gonna take a look. Map them on singular, literally. Like this add-on you were addicted to for so long, but it's still nice to run, but you're not required anymore. It's like exactly that. Somebody is right in front of you. Ain't, oh, yeah, but did you see it? Let's take another look. Because they didn't. Okay, we see Meg. Do you see it? Uh, 
<laughs> yeah, there's a clod right there. She just she just sitting. You walk right by her. Oh, yeah. Oopsies. You don't even try to. Okay, first off, you should already be, like, the moment you get into chase somebody, you need to be already thinking about, is there a biopod nearby? Can I get in that and then uh, and slipstream them? Do I need to set up a new biopod to slipstream them? You should already be thinking of that. The fact that, that, like, you didn't, you didn't, like, that process, that thought process did not click for you. You did not immediately go into that. That is how you succeed at Singularity. Those, those quick slipstreams and then immediately continuing chase and overclock. That is, that is the, 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 the bread and butter on how to succeed as this killer. So the fact that you didn't even enter that thing up there and you didn't even create another one when she got past it, we're already off to a rough start. But that's okay. Learning is, learning is often a, a rough process. See, you should have done that our first run around. You should have done that the first run around the pallet. The fact that you didn't is, uh... Made you lose a little bit of time. Okay, you finally know his out there. <laughs> Okay, you're getting a lot of early spread pressure, which is neat. But now you are chasing into your corrupt, which kind of like um, does not help. Thankfully, she chooses not to go into the tile, so you got a quick early down. Growth, <laughs> growth often hurts. <laughs> voice lines. I think Larry's are my voice favorite voice lines in the game. Stop blabbering. <laughs> Gene secured. You're about to experience something wonderful. Or whatever the fuck he says. That one's really good too. Honestly, if they unhook with you or if they unhook with you that close, like you're probably just at the edge of your terrace here, just go back. If they unhook with you that close, they're asking for trouble. Don't let them get away with that. It hurts. Growth often does. It's so good. The lines are so great. Excellent, good. We love to see it. There you go. You're a little slow to the start, but you end up getting there. This is what makes Shigalari awesome. Luckily, you don't have pain rails or anything, so you can just kind of hook people wherever you want. Don't worry about it. I've noticed something you're not... Okay. <laughs> you're, you're... Like, you don't... Like, you know how to play Singularity. But, like, you're really sluggish on your reaction time to do the things. Because what I was about to say there is, like, you have a bunch of biopods across the map. Take a peek real quick. Take a look around. See see where, where people are. But, it, like, it takes you so long to get there that, like, I don't know. It's like, and then even then, you only checked, like, one biopod. Like, you have plenty up. You can check around. You can go look. So, it's like you're, it's like you're almost there, but not quite, you know? Yeah, they're not really placing a lot of bipods either. Okay, she just greeted that way too long for no reason. Uh, I like that as a choice because you can like goop mid chase, but I put that higher. I'd put that like up. That's so not like super obvious. I put it up in the corner. Up yep, near the top. You're not really checking your cameras a lot. And when you do, it takes you a while to do it. Well, Devil's Advocate to your Devil's Advocate. They cycle through. So it's not like... Not like Trapper where you'd have to go like go pick it back up. You think it's the most fun killer? Anybody? Xenomorph. That's not even close. Good to see you, Slasher. Hopefully you're well. No gen there? There's a gen there, Aura. <laughs> well, Mr. Streamer, it would be better for going through the window. Well, it, if there's no gen in the way, but there is. <laughs> so, like, wait, wait, what was that relevant? You're just um, actually to me for a thing that, like, was the exact scenario you said where it wouldn't matter. Interesting. Oh, 
Or pods you don't get. Do you want a match review? Do you want to do it? I can hang out. I can do this. Up. I can chill. See, there you go. That's what I like to see. Do that. Do that more. That's just an unfortunate environment situation. That's not your fault. Yeah, go into that. Go into that. Yeah, like, you get it, but, you're like, you're just kind of slow to do the things that are good. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you get it, you're just slow to do those things. I can get rid of him. And myself and you? Yeah, I was like, what? there and spoiled yeah their main thing so far is that like they know what to do but they're kind of like sluggish to do it and also like they don't like with the biopods like they'll go to check cameras to make sure like see if somebody's around or where the survivors are but they won't check more than one and they just did it again which is kind of interesting I like the choice that you haven't really been facing your obsession so far, which is really nice. Yeah, see, like, you should be, like, trying to, like, play some, uh, biopod. Yeah, see, like, Lily, this keeps happening. Every time I'm like, you should do this, and you miss doing this, you do it, like, four seconds late. <laughs> it's so funny. Like, if you were doing this the stuff quicker, like, you'd be in a fine situation. But, like, you keep doing the things you need to do so late that, like, you end up behind. <laughs> Cause like that was the right idea is like, you know, set up a biopod up in a high vantage point, overclock down onto her and then, and that chase quickly, but, but you did it so late that it didn't matter. Well, that's a, that's, that's a nice problem to have though, right? Because like just be faster is like so much easier to resolve than just like not getting what to do, right? Because that's having to adopt a new habit, not just speeding up a habit you already have, right? So. Well, you don't need the auto aim feature. I would, I would say I don't even use that thing. <laughs> I do not use that. I prefer the normal. That's part of the fun for me, is like, find somebody you snap onto them, you know? So like, you, you don't know where anybody is, but you're also not checking your cameras. So like, of course you don't know where anybody is. Because you're not using your built-in info. This is like when Xenomorph, people who play Xenomorph, don't like go in their tunnels to find out where people are. They don't use their built-in info and you're just like, well, what did you expect? You should also probably, even if she has the wand, like you can get out of her hands pretty quickly just by the streaming her from one of these cameras. And then you can just, after it's out of her hands, this is uncanny. <laughs> This is so funny. This is so funny. Literally, anytime I give advice, you do it, but like three seconds after the fact. <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> They're sniping. <laughs> oh, that's too hilarious. That's good. Oh, she might side by here. Oh, but. Oh, that sucks. You had that. You had that, but you got auto aimed. Or sorry, aim dressing. Sorry, behavior. My bad. Oh, you still got the. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. You're good. You're good. Stop. <laughs> Live match review. Yeah, it's happening this moment. Got somebody dead at two gens. Good, good. As you should. Okay. I, I do that sometimes where I'm just like, oh, I'm going to go to this one. Oh, wait. That's actually on the other side of this wall. Never mind. Get McLean eyes. <laughs> Uzi says all the time, thanks, McLean. Every time they get it auto aimed. That's really funny. I've never, this is a, usually I get a lot of like repeat takeaways, right? It's like, please use your slowdown. Please don't ever commit to chase. Please don't dry kick. I've never had one that's been like, you're right, but like you're, you're slow about it. <laughs> you're doing the right thing. You just gotta be quicker about it. Gotta be quicker than that. Awesome. Double, triple surge? Was that a triple surge? Yo. 
Awesome. Go down. Also, you just drop her. Yeah, you need to drop her. Yeah, don't try to carry somebody like that in mid chase. If somebody sabos, you're not gonna make him make it to the hook. You need to just like drop them. <laughs> you're too slow. Honestly, if May keeps stabbing your face like that, just just kill her. Like if she wants to. Ooh, you could have teleported there. Wait, 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 wait. Whoa, whoa. Okay, I have a first thing that. That's fine. You just. Anyways, um, yeah, uh, here, um, you could have teleported her through here. You make it through the window there. You could have, you could have just, you could have just, yeah, you could have just teleported on her through the window. I don't know why you go all the way around just to do that. Yeah. Or there's no gens over here, so you don't get a, a surge proc. Matters to be cured. Please check your cameras. I would not. I would not. No, no, no. Don't chase Meg here. This Meg, you have not chased at all. You need more people dead. You're at one gen with one gen nearly done. You need to have as many deaths on the board as possible right now, and many sacrifices on the board as possible. Chasing somebody who has zero hook states, not good post two gens. Never chase somebody with zero hook states post two gens. Thankfully, you get the the surge of the least, but the other Meg would have been the better option. You shouldn't be continuing to go after people um, that you already have hook states on. Luckily, okay, Claudette just hops right back on the gun right in front of you. Real killer chapters are cool. It's kind of funny because I don't really care for a lot of the original killers. She buffed. <laughs> yeah, why are you not? Why are you not slipstreaming her? That gen in the middle is about to pop. I would not commit to a chase super far away. They're all injured too, so all it takes is one down and the gen pops. I think you're over committing to this because you know she's death hook. And they're going to probably get that last gen done. At least you get another kill, so you set yourself up for at least a 3k. Yeah, you went way far away from a gen that was nearly finished. Should have hooked her closer to the area you plan to go next. Prepare for her transcendence. Yeah. Yeah, they didn't even like attempt to like they just don't really like being in their cameras. It's it, it's kind of like really harming them both for info and just for like you know casual slipstreaming. Been too little, yeah, 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 because that just benefits you either way, right? Like, because if you run into them and chase again, you can teleport on them over and enter overclock, blah, blah blah blah, right? Or, or they go and get a wand and get rid of it, which is like you know, built on slowdown. It's like it's just kind of like something that generally benefits you. Hey, damn, my god, also learn clown is not my jam, that's okay. It's definitely not for everybody, and he's also like kind of a middle of the pack killer, so he can get uh, dunked on pretty hard by good teams. He is my favorite M1 killer. Well, you know, I have a di kind of a different idea of what M1 killers are compared to most people that you ever realize. Because I feel like when you say like, yeah, Singularity is an M1 killer, Spirit's an M1 killer, I'm like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, they're not in the same ballpark as Clown and Ghostface, okay? <laughs> You're leaving out a lot. You should be able to make that, but barely. So you're someone killer technically? Yeah, another good example. Yeah, yeah, or that's like the more commonly accepted like version of that, which I find so silly because that just admits so much. <laughs> it's like the experience for Ghostface versus Spirit is so vast to say they're like, oh, they're the same. It's just kind of like, huh? <laughs> Just 
just feels like besides just the distinction of like for like surge and stuff like that like it just feels like such a like a um silly thing Ooh, double bnp wow i know uh in terms of your main takeaways uh honestly um you i'm not trying to cop out here you played really well it's just the problem is that like everything you did i i'm, I'm not joking was just like a little too late <laughs> like so your main takeaway and you're like your critical uh takeaway um is that he's he's <laughs> like you need to you need to do everything you're doing yourself quicker you got to be reacting quicker uh because like um Everything you did for the most part was correct, except like you just did it too late. So it just didn't end up mattering. So be quicker with the biopods. Can be quicker with the slip streaming. Just do everything you're doing more snappy. Try to be quicker. Um, and that's like the main thing I saw. The second main thing I saw was that you don't really use your biopods very much. You don't use them for info to check where people are. You don't use them to like casually uh, slip stream people uh, so you can set up overclock and stuff later. Um, like you don't you don't do that. <laughs> and even if you do, you check it for like one second, you check one biopod, and then you go straight back to normal. Um, so, um, yeah, I would, um, yeah, I would, uh, I would not, <laughs> I, I would make sure that you actually utilize the other part of your kit way more, which is the biopods. Um, so, yeah, yeah, that, that was like the main two things. Also, you played really good, you played really fine. Um, it's just like those two things kind of held you back. So get more use out of your biopods uh, and also do the things you're doing as Larry already, but just try to be quicker about it. Try to be a little bit more snappy with your reaction time and that'll go a long way.